What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be hopping on several rich peaks and I'm going to be going out to some uh, Rocky Mountain elk. Now this zone here, I don't have any males. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off and take a few of these females down. I got some here that are out in the open and I got some here. So and today we're going to be using the 300 mag. Now I'm going to leave the spotting outline on until I get more daylight. Smoke the second one. These guys did not hear the gunshot. I'm just going to verify the range again. Okay, they're about 320. So I'm actually going to range in for 328. Smoke the Got her as well. And she's gonna flee the scene. Alright folks, so the first zone. 216 yards. Got a left lung and heart. And for this female over here. Got a double lung and liver at 214. Alright folks, here's the other two females. Now this one I got a left lung and vertebrae at 321 yards. And this one here I got a double lung and liver at 323. Alright guys, I'm at a different location. Now we're getting better daylight. I got a small bull here, level 3. Now I checked these out the, earlier this morning. These are all new zones. I did not take any of them out, so... Uh, I'm going to take out this level 3. He's completely broadside. That's going to take him down nicely. I'll get out of the water. And he just piled up into the water, I would imagine. And yes, he did. But he's going to float to me anyways. That's not a bad four. There's another three. I'm going to get into the tripod, actually. I'm going to get back to you. Alright, guys, I made it into the tripod, and I forgot about this own... So I think I want to take down one of these guys as well. Problem is, they're pretty close, so I think what's going to end up happening is that they're going to... If I take a shot on this guy here, they're going to hear the gunshot and they're going to flee. So I think what I'm going to do is actually take down that level 4 and now uh, see what I can do for a follow-up. going to wait till he puts his head back up. Okay, there's that three that I wanted. Is he going to slow down a little bit? Now that shot should have should take him down. He just piled up, and I believe my level four is floating to me as well. So here's the other one. Alright, so, got a double lung and vertebrae at 149 yards. Alright guys, the level 4 finally uh, made it to me. So, got a double lung at 226 yards. Alright guys, here's a level 3. 
got a double lung at 238 yards on the trot. Alright guys, let's pick up this one. This was a two minor. Got a left lung at 227 yards. And now with the Rocky Mountain Elk, this is what I like about them. I think this is one of my favorite uh, fur types on them is the light gray. I think they look uh, really amazing. Alright guys, at another spot, now I got two level three bull elk. Now if I take a shot on this guy, this guy should just turn. So hopefully I can pull it off and take them both down. I believe I got a good shot on him and he's going to pile up. And the other one piled up into the water. Alright, let's pick him up. Got a double lung at 113 yards. While we're here, we might as well just go ahead and pick up the other guy. Got a right lung, liver, and stomach at 125. Alright guys, different location. Now I got two level four bull elk. Now this guy here, the brown one, he had a good estimate on him. And this is another, there's other brown ones, another level four. If I can spot this other level 4 out, there he is, there's his estimate. Well, that's a decent sized bull. Well, decent sized, that's a pretty big bull, I should say. Now, don't have the best angle for these guys, so I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know if I should really go for this kind of shot, especially with this one in the way. Okay, if that one puts its head down, I think I'm going to go for the shot. I believe I smoked them. I don't think I'm going to get a follow-up on the other level 4 if I can spot him out. That's a 3. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get a follow-up, but I think I got my the bigger level 4 down. Alright folks, there was actually three level 4s. There's one there, that's the brown one. And this guy here, he's the light gray. Okay, that's level 3. Wait, which one's the 4? Are these both 4s? They can't be. Okay, that's a 3. That's a 4. And if she gets out of the way... Was that solid? That's a three. Where'd that four go? Oh, he just piled up. Perfect. I don't want to go too crazy in the zone because I'm not in a tripod or any stand. So I don't want to delete the zone. In other words, let's pick up this uh, big bowl here. Get a bit more better lighting. Alright, let's pick him up. 157 yards. Got him right in the heart. Weighing in at 927 pounds. Alright guys, let's pick up this level 4. Now, obviously he wasn't as big as the other one. I uh, got a left lung at 141 yards. Alright guys, now I got some elk on the left side of me here, but they're all females. So I'm not going to be taking a shot at them. I just spotted out this zone here. 
And I got another massive bull elk. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm spawning the right one. Okay, that's a three behind him. Okay. Okay, that's a two minor. So this guy here is the four. 214 yards. And they're doing that teleporting glitch. And so is he. I'm not liking that. Did I get him? I saw this dropping pretty quick. And he just piled up. Hey guys, I happened to look over and I got some bighorn sheep there. That one there is pretty dark compared to the others. So I don't know if that's a rare fur type or not, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and take her down. I am using the 243. Now, was that good enough? Health is dropping. Alright guys, let's take a look at this big bowl. Got a double lung at 215 yards. Weighing at 915 pounds. Okay, he's not as big as I thought he was going to be. It's going 390. Alright guys, here's the bighorn sheep. Okay, she's a black fur type. Now I have an app for Call of the Wilds Companion. Uh, black, gray, brown, and bronze is considered a rare. Uh, the only thing that's a very rare is an albino. Uh, and brown is common. I don't think I'm going to really keep her. I'm sure I can find a bigger one. Alright guys, I'm at another location. Got a bull level 3 here. And I have another level 4 bull elk there. That's another 3. That's a big bull. I think I'm going to be going for him. I didn't even see this guy until I spotted him. He has a really good estimate. But in the meantime, I'm going to take this guy down here and I'm going to get into the tripod. That's a very small bull elk. And he's piling up. Alright guys, here's a level 3. So let's just pick him up. Got a left lung, liver, and stomach at 174 yards. Alright guys, I made it into my tripod. Now he's about 180, 190. Now I believe you need a 481 for a diamond. Uh, the more I look at his estimate, I don't think he's going to be a diamond. I think he's going to end up scoring just a decent, well, pretty big gold, to be honest. Alright, let's see what I can do here. I want to get him down for sure, and uh, see if about a follow-up on this guy. Oh no, are they both going to pile up in the water? Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> now I play the waiting game. Alright guys, I believe this is the massive bull elk that I just took a shot at. Alright, let's pick him up. 189 yards. Got a double lung. Weighing in at 1,008 pounds. Scoring 459. 
Now that's a good size bull. I'm actually going to save him. He's going to go in the lodge. That's a very nice bull. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Doesn't even fit on the uh, screen. So big. Alright, the other one did not float to me. So I think he's probably near the water and I'm able to claim him. Alright folks, he's actually on land. So he must have teleported back. Alright, got a left lung on this guy at 178. It's going 419. That's still a nice uh, big bowl. Alright guys. So I had to back up the time because the drinking time was coming to an end. So I backed it up about 5 to 5 and I came to a different location. I'm just going to show you on the map where I've been so far. So I didn't get it on the clip but I do have some uh, drinking zones here by two fawns. Uh, I got two uh, zones for Rocky Mountain Elk. Now at that zone I only had uh, females. I took a couple down. And then I, when I started my clip, I went to Swiss Valley. Then I went to this lake here. And I went to this, this spot as well. I've been here. This is where I took down another decent sized bull. I, yeah, this is where I shot another level four. I haven't been to these zones yet. But now we're up here. And I got another level 4 bull elk. Oh, and he had to walk in front of him. Okay, got some there. I believe I only had one level 3 over here. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, I don't know how this is going to work out. I think I'm going to have to wait till this one moves. Because like I said, I definitely want to take the level 4 down. Alright guys, the other one moved. So let's take him down. Level 4 just piled up. And that one's going to pile up as well. Alright. Uh, this should be the level 4. So let's pick them up. In fact it is. 251 yards. Got a double lung. And let's pick up the other guy here as well. Level 3, got a left lung at 262. Alright folks, I'm at a different location. I'm going to have to make the shot quick because there's a mountain line around. Let's see if he stops here. Hopefully he does. Oh, that shot looked far back. I definitely messed him up. Alright guys, so here's the bull elk that I messed up on. Shot him too far back, got the intestines at 264 yards. Scoring 412. But like I said, I was uh, rushing on the shot because of the mountain lines. Alright guys, I'm at another location. Got another level 4. Level 3 there. Got some more in the grass here. Can't spot out what that guy is. Got another zone over here. I don't see any bulls. I did spot out a bull over here. Oh, there he is. 
Another level 4, but his weight estimate is not as high as the other ones. Another level 3, level 2. Uh, let's go for this guy here. Uh, hopefully I did get a good shot on that four. Alright guys, I got one floating in the water. And for some odd reason, these guys over here did not hear the gunshot. I don't know how that didn't happen, and I also just placed a tripod, so uh, let's take down that level four. That should take them both down, hopefully. Yeah, he's going down. And like I said, for this zone over here, I didn't see any bull in there. Uh, there's actually one there. I don't think I'm going to get a shot on him unless he comes back out in the open. There's a two minor. Alright, let's grab this guy here. Okay, so this is the level 4. Got a left lung, 148. Alright guys, here's one of them on the left side of the lake. Uh, busted through the shoulder blade, got a left lung at 179. And the other guy shouldn't be too far from here as well. If I can find his tracks. Actually, there he is. There is another mountain line around here as well. All right. Double long liver at 179. All right, guys, I got another level four bull. I'm just hoping that the bullet is not going to render on the side of the hill there. I hit him. Oh, I might have scrapped him there if I got the head. Alright folks, here he is piled up. So in fact I didn't scrap him. So I've got a left lung at 165 yards. Then I pulled off a flesh. Oh, that was lucky. I nearly got his head. Well, folks, on that note, that's going to be a wrap, a wrap uh, for this clip. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to have to get back out here on Silver Ridge Peaks and do another uh, Rocky Mountain elk hunt. I had some decent size... Uh, bull elk so hopefully the, it, they're going to give me a decent uh, respawn so like i said that's going to be the end of the clip for those that watch my videos i really appreciate it like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys all next time